solar radiation solar constant the sun is a large sphere of a hot gases and the heat being generated by the various kind of fusion reaction its diameter is 1.39 multiplied by 10 raised to 6 km while that of the earth diameter is 1.27 multiplied by 10 raised to 4 km the mean distance between the two is 1.5 multiplied by 10 raised to 8 km uh, the, although the sun is large and uh, sustains an angle only of 32 minutes at the earth's surface this is because it's also a very large distance between them thus the beam radiation received from the sun on the earth is almost parallel the brightness of the sun varies from the its center to its edges however for the engineering calculation it is customarily to assume that the brightness all over the solar disk is uniform as viewed from the earth the radiation coming from the sun appears to be essentially equivalent to the coming from the black surface the rate at which the solar energy arrives at the top of the atmosphere on the earth is called the solar constant that is isc this is the amount of energy received in unit time on a unit area perpendicular to the sun's direction at the mean distance of the earth from the sun because the sun's distance and activity vary throughout the year the solar radiation at earth surface beam and diffuse radiation from the point of view of utilization of a solar energy we can more interested in the energy received at the earth surface than its extra terrestrial energy solar radiation received at the surface of a earth is entirely different due to the various reasons before studying this is important to know the following terms that is beam and diffuse radiation the solar radiation that uh, penetrates the earth atmosphere and reaches the surface differs in the both amount and the character from the radiation at the top of the atmosphere in the first place part of the radiation is reflected back into the space especially by clouds furthermore the radiation exterring the atmosphere is partly absorbed by the molecules in the air oxygen and ozone form and oxygen absorb nearly all the ultraviolet radiation and water vapors and the carbon dioxide absorb some of the energy in the infrared range the addition part of the solar radiation is scattered that is its direction has been changed by droplet of in the clouds by the atmospheric molecules and by dust particles solar radiation that has not been absorbed or scattered and reaches the ground directly from the sun is called a direct radiation or beam radiation that is the solar radiation that has not been absorbed or scattered and reaches the ground directly from the sun is called a direct radiation or the beam radiation it is radiation which produces a shadow when interrupted by the uh, occum by an any object now diffuse radiation diffuse radiation is that solar radiation received from the sun after its direction has been changed by the reflection and scattering by the atmospheric particles because of the solar radiation is scattered in all direction in the atmosphere diffuse radiation comes to the earth from the all parts of the sky now the total solar radiation received at any point on the earth surface is the sum of the direct and the diffuse radiation this is referred to in general sense as a insulation at that point means insulation is equal to the uh, beam radiation plus diffuse radiation more specifically the insulation is defined as a total solar radiation energy received on the horizontal surface of a unit area that is one square meter on the ground in unit time that is one day the insulation at a given location on the earth surface depends upon <coughs> other factors on the altitude of the sun in the sky altitude is the angle between the sun's direction and the horizontal plane since the sun's altitude changes with the date and the time of the day with the geographic latitude at which the observations are made the rate of arrival of a solar radiation on the ground is available quantity even in a time 
सम जनरल पॉइंट दैट कैन बी मेड दैट स्मॉलर द सन एल्टीट्यूड ग्रेटर द थिकनेस ऑफ द एटमोस्फियर थ्रू विच द सोलर रेडिएशन मस्ट पास टू रीच द ग्राउंड एज अ रिजल्ट द एब्सॉर्बन एंड स्कैटरिंग द इंसुलेशन इज लेस वेन द सन इज लो इन द स्काय देन वेन इट इज हायर हाउ एवर वेन स्कैटरिंग ऑकर्स डिफ्यूज रेडिएशन कंस्टिट्यूट अ लार्ज फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द टोटल रिसीव्ड फ्रैक्शन ऑन द क्लियर और दैट इज क्लाउडलेस डे अबाउट टेन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द इंसुलेशन इज फॉर्म डिफ्यूज रेडिएशन द प्रपोर्शन इंक्रीजेस अप टू द हंड्रेड परसेंट वेन द सन इज कम्प्लीटली एब्सॉर्ब ऑब्सर्व बाय द क्लाउड वेन द ह्यूमिडिटी इज हाई एंड द इंसुलेशन ऑन अ क्लाउडी डे कंसिस्टिंग अ इंटायरली ऑफ अ डिफ्यूज रेडिएशन मे बी एज ऑफ फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द इंसुलेशन ऑन द क्लियर डे एट द सेम टाइम एंड द प्लेस द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द डिफ्यूज रेडिएशन सीन बाय ऑब्जर्वर ऑन अ क्लियर डे इज नॉट आइसोट्रोपिक बट वेरीज एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ अ लैटिट्यूड टाइम ऑफ द इयर टाइम ऑफ द डे एंड एटमोस्फेरिक कॉन्स्टेंट एंड अदर फैक्टर दिस इज डिस्कस बाय द नंबर ऑफ अ ऑथर्स नव सन एट जेनिथ पोजिशन ऑफ अ सन डिरेक्टली ओवर द हेड दैट इज एयर मास एम इट इज अ पाथ लेंथ ऑफ अ रेडिएशन थ्रू द एटमोस्फियर कंसिडरिंग द वर्टिकल पाथ एट अ सी लेवल एज अ यूनिटी द एयर मास एम इज अ रेशो ऑफ अ पाथ ऑफ अ सन रे थ्रू द एटमोस्फियर टू द लेंथ ऑफ द पाथ वेन सन इज एट द जेनिथ एक्सपेक्ट द वेरी लो सोलर एल्टीट्यूड एंगल द एयर मास इज इक्वल टू द कंसेंट ऑफ द एल्टीट्यूड एंगल अटेंशन फॉर द बीम रेडिएशन द वेरिएशन इन द सोलर रेडिएशन रीचिंग एट द Earth, then the received and the outside of the atmosphere is due to the absorption and the scattering in the atmosphere. Now absorption, as the solar radiation passes through the Earth's atmosphere, the short wave ultraviolet rays are absorbed by the ozone in the atmosphere, and the long wave infrared waves are absorbed by the carbon dioxide and the moisture in the atmosphere. This results in narrowing the bandwidth. In fact, most of the terrestrial terrestrial solar energy that is energy received by the earth lies within the range of 0.29 mu to 2.5 mu of the wavelength scattering as the solar radiation passes through the earth atmosphere the components of our atmosphere such as water vapors dust scatter a position of a radiation the portion of this scattered radiation always reaches the earth surface as a diffuse radiation thus the radiation finally received at a earth surface consists partly of a beam radiation and partly of a diffuse radiation it must be realized that the scattering attain attains the ra radiation thus the exact amount of a scattering and the consequent attenuation depends on the atmospheric condition which vary from the place to place and given time the ozone absorbs the mainly the ultraviolet band it absorbs almost completely the short wave radiation below the 0.29 mu m and it transmits the almost unity above the wavelength of 0.35 mu m the water vapor absorbs mainly the infrared bands the wavelength lower than 2.3 mu m uh, solar radiation geometry latitude of a location declination hour angle solar zenith angle azimuth angle slope altitude angle zenith angle let us first define the above angle the altitude of a point or a location is the angle made by the radial line joining the location to the center of the earth with the projection of the line on the equilateral plane it is the angular distance north or south of the equator measured from the center of the earth the angle between the line op and the projection of a op bar on the equilateral plane the point p presents the location of a earth surface the declination del is the angular distance of a sun's ray north or south of a equator it is the angle between the line extending from the center of the sun to the center of the earth and the projection of this line upon the earth's equatorial plane
एल्टीट्यूड एंगल और सोलर एल्टीट्यूड इट इज अ वर्टिकल एंगल बिटवीन द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ अ सन्स रे ऑन द होरिजेंटल प्लेन एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ सन्स रे पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट अवर एंगल ओमेगा इज अ एंगल थ्रू विच द अर्थ मस्ट टर्न टू ब्रिंग द मेरिडियन ऑफ अ पॉइंट डिरेक्टली इन अ लाइन विद द सन्स रे द अवर एंगल ओमेगा इज इक्विवेल टू द फिफ्टीन डिग्री पर आवर इट इज मेजर्ड फ्रॉम द नून बेस्ड ऑन द लोकल सोलर टाइम और लोकल एपियरेंट टाइम बींग पॉजिटिव इन अ मॉर्निंग एंड निगेटिव इन अफ्टरनून नाउ जेनिथ एंगल इट इज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल ऑफ अ सन्स एल्टीट्यूड एंगल इट इज अ वर्टिकल एंगल बिटवीन द सन्स रे एंड द लाइन परपेंडिकुलर टू द होरिजेंटल सर्फेस थ्रू द पॉइंट दैट इज अ एंगल बिटवीन द बीम फ्रॉम द रेडिएशन टू द वर्टिकल एक्सिस सोलर एजुमिथ एंगल इट इज अ सोलर एंगल इन डिग्रीज अलॉन्ग द होराइजन ईस्ट और वेस्ट और नॉर्थ और इट इज अ होरिजेंटल एंगल मेजर्ड फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ टू द होरिजेंटल प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ अ सन्स रे This angle is positive when measured west wise. Altitude angle alpha, zenith angle Z2 and the solar azimuth angle gamma S can be expressed in terms of phi L latitude angle declination and omega our angle which are also called basic angles. These equations allow calculation of the sun's zenith altitude and azimuth angles. If the declination, hour angle, and latitude are known, in applying these equation, attenuation must be given to correct sign the latitude and the declination and angle. If north latitude are considered positive and south latitudes considered negative, now the slope. It is the angle made by the plane surface with the horizontal. It is taken to be positive for the surface sloping towards the south and negative for the surface sloping towards the north. Now, surface azimuth angle. It is the angle of a deviation of the normal to the surface from the local meridian. The zero point being south and east positive, west negative. Now, incident angle. It is the angle measured between the beam of rays and the normal to the plane. From the spherical geometry, the relation between the phi and other angles is given by the equation. The solar noon omega being zero, each hour angles equating 15 degrees of a longitude with a morning positive and afternoon negative. Solar radiation data. Solar radiation data is available in several forms and should include the following information about. whether they are instantaneous measurement or the values integrated over some period of a time usually hour or a day the time or a time period for the measurement whether the measurements are beam diffuse or a total radiation and the instrument used the receiving surface orientation usually horizontal may be inclined at a fixed slope or a normal if Averaged the period over which they are average means monthly average or daily average like that. Most of the data on a solar radiation received on the surface of the Earth are measured by the solar meter, which is give reading for the instantaneous measurements, the rate throughout the day for the total radiation on a horizontal surface. Integrating the plot of the rate of energy received per unit area. or per unit time over the whole day given the langley of a radiation received on a horizontal surface it should be pointed out that the solar radiation flux generally reported in the langley per hour or a per day that is one langley is equal to one calorie per centimeter square the unit langley has been adopted in the honor of samuel langley who made the first measurement of a spectral distribution of the sun for solar radiation on a tilted surface the rate of a receipt of a solar energy on a given surface on the ground depends on the orientation of a surface with a reference to the sun a fully sun tracking surface that allows always faces the sun receives the maximum possible solar energy at the particular location a surface of a same area oriented in a 
any other direction will receive a smaller amount of solar radiation because the solar radiation is such a delight form of energy it is desirable to capture as much as possible on a given area we can see that the sections the measuring instruments give the value of a solar radiation falling on a horizontal surface because most of the solar collectors and the solar radiation collecting device are tilted at the angle to the horizontal plane it is therefore necessary to convert the data for a hourly radiation measured in estimated on the horizontal surface of a radiation on the tilted surface now beam radiation in most cases the tilted surface faces due to south total radiation the beam and the diffuse component of a solar radiation are absorbed in a flat plate type collector the angular correction factor has been determined for beam radiation as given by the equation now the correction for diffuse radiation can be applied for a clear days for that it can be assumed that their origin is near the sun that is the scattering of a solar radiation is mostly forward scattering solar energy collectors a solar collector is a device for collecting the solar radiation and to transfer the energy to the fuel passing in a contact with it utilization of a solar energy requires a solar collector these are general of a two types the non concentrating or a flat plate type of collector and the concentrating focusing type of a solar collector the solar energy collector with its associated absorber it is the essential component of any system for a conversion of a solar radiation energy into the more usable form of energy that is heat or electricity in a non conventional type the collector area that is the area that intercepts the solar radiation is the same as the absorber area that is the area absorbing the radiation on the other hand the concentrating collectors the area intercepting the solar radiation is greater sometimes the hundred of the times greater than the absorber area by means of a concentrating collectors much higher temperature can be obtained than the with a non concentrating type concentrating collectors may be used to generate the medium pressure steam they use many different arrangement of a mirrors and lenses to concentrate the sun's ray on the boiler this type of shows the better efficiency than the flat plate type of collector for the best efficiency the collector should be mounted to the face the sun as the moves through the sky now the physical principles of a conversion of a solar radiation into the heat the fundamental process now in the general use of a heat conversion is a greenhouse effect the name comes from the first use in a greenhouse in the which possible to grow exotic plants in a cold climate through the better utilization of available sunlight most of the energy we receive from the sun comes in the form of light short wave radiation not all which is visible to the human eyes when this radiation strikes the solid or a liquid it is absorbed and transformed into the heat energy the material becomes warm and stores the heat and conducts conducts its surrounding material that is air water other solids or liquids and re-radiate it to the other materials of the lower temperature this radiation is long wave radiation show how the temperature on earth is affected by the greenhouse effect hence the greenhouse effect brings about an accumulation of energy of the ground class easily transmits a short wave radiation which means that it poses a little interference to the incoming solar energy but it is a very poor transmitter of a long wave radiation once the sun's energy has passed through the glass windows and has been absorbed by some material inside the heat is not be re radiated back outside the glass therefore act as a heat trap the phenomena which has been recognized for some times in a construction of a greenhouses which can give a quite warm or a sunny days even in a middle of a winter this has come to be known in fact as a greenhouse effect the solar collectors are foam heating usually called a flat plate collectors almost have one or more glass covers although the various plastics and other transparent materials are often used instead of glasses 
A black painted plate observer the incoming sunlight about it. The fixed plate of a ordinary windows glass. When a temperature of a black plate increases, it emits an increment of a thermal heat or heat temperature in the form of a infrared light. The black observer has the properties of a black body. Ideal black bodies have not only the highest absorption but the also highest emission coefficient for the wavelength of a light. Black plate collectors where the temperature below about 90 degrees Celsius are adequate as they are for space and the service water heating. Flat plate collectors which are of a non-concentrating type are particularly convenient. They are made in rectangular panels from about 1.7 to 2.9 square meter in area and the relatively simple in construction and erect. Flat plates can collect and absorb the both direct and the diffuse solar radiation. They are consequently practically effective even on a cloudy days when the, there is no direct radiation. The flat plate solar collectors may be divided into the two main classification based on the type of the heat transfer fluid used. The liquid heating collectors are used for heating water and non-freezing aqueous solutions and obviously for the non-aqueous heat transfer fluids. Air or gas heating collectors are employed as a solar air heaters. Uh, the principal difference between the two types is design of a passage for the heat for the transfer fuel. The majority of a flat plate collector have a five main components as follows. A transparent cover which may be one or more sheets of a glass or a radiation transmitting plastic film or a sheet. Second, tubes, fins, passage or a channels are integral with the collector absorber plates and connected to it which carry the water, air or the other fluid that is heat transferring material. The absorber plate normally metallic or with a black surface although the wide variety or other materials can be used with the air heaters. The insulation which should be provided at the back and the side to minimize the heat losses the standard insulating materials such as fiberglass styrofoam are used for the thermal insulation purpose. The casing or a container which includes the other components and protects them from the weather. A typical liquid collector. There are many flat plate collector design but most based on the principle as it is a plate and the tube type collector. Basically it consists of a flat surface with a high absorbity of a solar radiation collected in the absorbing surface typically a metal plate usually of copper steel and aluminum material with a tubing of a copper in the thermal contact with the plates are the most commonly used materials the absorber plates is usually made from the metal sheet 1 and 2 mm in a thickness while the tubes which are also of a metal range in a diameter from 1 to 1.5 cm they are soldered, brass and clamped to the bottom in case to the top of the absorber plate with the pitch ranging from 1 to 15 cm. In some designs the tubes are also in a line and integral with the absorber plate. The heat is transferred from the absorber plate to the point of use by the circulation of a fluid usually water across the solar heated surface that is thermal insulation of a 5 to 10 cm thickness are usually placed behind the absorber plate to prevent the heat losses from the rear surface. Insulation material is generally mineral wool or glass wool or fiberglass as stated above. Advantages of a second glass with the added of a above the first one. The losses due to the air convention are further reduced. This is important in a windy areas. The radiation loss in an infrared spectrum are reduced by the further 25% because half of the 50% which is emitted outward from the first glass is packed radiated and is not worthwhile, worthwhile to use more than two glass plates. This is due to the fact that each plate reflects about 15% of incoming sunlight. As we know the main purpose of a transparent cover is plate collector to decrease the heat loss without significantly reducing the incoming solar radiation. In the first place, the heat transport system, the heat generated in the absorber is removed by the continuous flow of a heat transport that is a heat transfer for medium, either water or air. 
it is mainly in the design of a heat transfer system that a flat plate collector differs when water is used it is it is most commonly passed through the metal tubes with the either circular or the rectangular cross section the tubes are welded to the absorber plate or form integral part of it so as to assure effective heat transfer of a heat to the fluid some examples are already in the figure like tubes are connected to the common or headers at each end of a collector and the maximum exposure to the solar radiation the collectors are almost invariantly sloped color water then enters in the bottom heater header and flows upward through the tubes where it is warmed by the absorber and leaves the way by the top header a type typical air collector or the solar air heater the figure shows the schematic of a fire plate collector where an air steam stream is heated by the back side of the collector plate fins attached to the plate increases a constant surface the back side of a collector is heavily insulated with a mineral wool or the other material